channel. Today I'm sharing my crock pot recipe for this week. My first one. And I am making gumbo. I have used a bunch of things from my garden and I'm kind of cleaning out the fridge. And the recipe I used actually didn't call for okra. And to me, gumbo needs okra. <laughs> so I added that. And I'm not going, or I'm adding that. And I'm not actually adding shrimp. My family doesn't eat shrimp. Not a huge fan. So we're just going to skip the shrimp. And I'm going to have rice on the side. So those who want it can have it. And those who don't, don't have to eat it. And I will grab some cauliflower rice to make it trim healthy mother friendly. Or we can just eat it with regular brown rice. That would be a crossover. It'll be awesome no matter what no matter which way I need it. So let's get started. All right, I'm gonna get started. I already have my chicken in the crock pot for my gumbo. And now I'm gonna slice up all of the veggies and get it in there. Um, my recipe actually calls for um, some canned things, but at the moment, I have plenty of fresh, like the tomatoes. So I'm just going to go ahead and add fresh ones and I'll cut them up. Now this recipe <laughs> doesn't have okra in it, but I'm still going to add that to my gumbo because gumbo to me means okra. Get my crock pot over here so you can see. So you have my chicken in there. Put my sausage in there. Next we have the tomatoes, and these tomatoes are actually from my garden, so they should be really good. And it says, just dice them up, so let's dice them up, this one has a funny spot on it. A lot of times when you fresh cook with fresh tomatoes, there is like, you'll see the peels in the dish later, but I don't really mind. If my family minds, nobody ever says anything. <laughs> I just use what I have. I didn't get a whole lot of tomatoes this year compared to most years. It was very cool. And then it froze. How did I wash the tomato up? There we go. But um, I'm going to be just picking them and letting them ripen out because I have a bunch. There's one tomato down. Some, these are really big ones, like some of the bigger ones I had this year. So I'm hoping it's just the right amount to what I need. I'm tired. All right. Sorry about that. My son decided to come in and talk to me. Apparently, I didn't do something for him. I'm not sure what that was that I didn't do for him. But there we go. Almost done with the tomatoes. Dump it in my pot. All right. The next thing is it says a large onion, but my onions aren't large. So. I'm going to use two small ones. I'm getting these onions actually came from my garden. I'm kind of getting to the end of my onions to where now I'm going to have to go buy onions. I did a lot of canning and I was able to use my onions, so I think that's pretty good. And I know when I clean up my garden in the next few days that I will probably find a few more. And I actually do have some left, but they're mostly the red ones. And those ones take me a little longer to eat because they are raw. I'm not to use them as often because you don't put them in food because I still put onions in a lot. And I also, um, my leeks, I have leeks in my garden, which 
I substitute for onions sometimes. So, that's my onions. And then we have, it says to use a red pepper, but I don't have one. So I'm just gonna use this one. It came from my garden, it's actually, my garden did, we've got peppers this year, but they're really small. But I don't think it really matters. It doesn't have to be red. It might be better if it was red, but I don't have red. So I'm not going to do red. I'm just going to do green, and it'll be just fine. And then at the very end, I'm going to throw in some okra, because I think all gumbo should have okra. And that was actually one of the reasons I made it, is I wanted it to have okra in. So, finish these peppers, and then I'm going to do celery next. And I'm actually... Um, my son loves celery. I think I could buy him a package and he can eat it up. But I'm pretty much just going to take off the ends because uh, the rest of it I'm going to cut up later for him. For his, um, I made the brain body dip and he likes to eat it with peanut butter. So he's had a peanut butter allergy for a while and now he can eat it so that makes him happy. Okay, let's see. When I have some broth, this is my own chicken broth that I made. When we eat chicken that has bones in it, I save the bones and I make broth. So hopefully none of it goes to waste. All right, and I'll be back. All right, I'm back with my spices. I have my own dried oregano, so I'm gonna see I dry my own, throw that in there. And then I have thyme. I didn't get to grow any of that this year, so a little bit of thyme. And then let's see. I have some Cajun spice. There's only about a tablespoon in there, so I'm just gonna dump it all in there. And then some cayenne pepper. Now, I don't do shrimp in general, so I'm not going to actually add it to my um, stuff here. But I said I am going to add okra, so I'm going to go grab that from the freezer. bag is actually from Dollar Tree and they don't always have it like not every store has it either which is really strange to me but so about half of them have it and I'm gonna put in about half a bag I did grow some this year and I ate it but I didn't have enough to freeze this year so I guess I'm buying it again but I tried all right I'll get a spoon and mix it up Ready to put it in the crock pot. Or just that little crock pot. So we can have it for later on today. Lunch time. So it's probably just gonna be for supper. Or maybe tomorrow, we'll see. But, oh that looks so good. I hope the taste is good. Alright, so I'll see you tomorrow. Alright. This is the last thing I have, and it's my jambalaya, and it smells really good. I'll have to let you know how it tastes, and I have rice cooking in my instant pot to eat with it. Alright, so there you go folks, a fairly simple recipe, and I was able to use a bunch of garden produce and a few extra leftovers in my refrigerator. So, have you tried a recipe like this? Or do you have a better one that you could share? Because I've actually made a couple, and this one's probably one of my favorites. So, anyway, I'll see you next time. I believe Saturday is going to be my next crock pot October. I haven't decided what I'm making yet, so it'll be a surprise for both of us. <laughs> so anyway, I'll see you later. Bye!